Hello, today I'm going to show you how to show and see variances when you are using different baselines. So for this purpose, I created a project and I have four tasks and I have uh, uh, some, uh, some assignees to their, those, those tasks. You can see here in view resource sheet that they have their standard rates. So if I go back here in uh, Gantt chart, in costs, I will see that the total cost for my project is 26,400 uh, uh, euros. Usual situation. Let us save a baseline. Let's go here in entry table and let's go back to project and let's save the, set the baseline. Set baseline and I will choose the first one. Okay. Now, for some reason, let's say that this task now lasts three days and this task is, is going to last four days and need Paula, Peter, but John and Mary as well. Now, if I go to task here in Agancha in cost table, you will see that the variance is 22,400 uh, euros. Why? Because this task will last longer uh, and it will cost uh, instead of 800 euros, 106,000 euros, and the task three will last longer and need more resources. So instead of uh, 11,200 euros, which was calculated, it will, uh, uh, it will need 32,000 euros, so it will cost 32,000 euros, so the variance is 20,800 euros. Okay, it's very simple calculation. We talked to our sponsor and he said, okay, we agreed with the customer. Customer has signed the, uh, 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 signed the extension of projects, he will pay. Please, please save this baseline, but keep the old one as well. What I'm going to do, I'm going here in project and I will say, okay, set baseline, but not this one, this one. Okay, great. What I want to see is now the baseline on my Gantt chart as I explained in my previous video. This is very, uh, uh, very simple. Go to Gantt chart and check here in task and instead of gun chart, we are going to uh, use tracking gun. Oh, wrong one. Yeah, sure. But uh, as we already know from my previous video, we are going to Gantt chart format tab and we are going to choose not this baseline, but this one. Everything is fine. Let's see variance. Okay, here variance. And you will see that we have variances here. Let's go to cost. We have still cost variance. But how is it possible? We applied on the GAN chart baseline one. You can see it here. But variance is not shown. Well, when you apply here in GAN chart format, baseline one, baseline two, whichever baseline, it doesn't mean that the variances are going to be applied as well. So you can see here some confusing situation that at GAN chart we have shown on the right part of the screen baseline number one, okay, as you can see it here, baseline number one, but variances, cost variance uh, 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 here, uh, work variance, okay, is also here, you can see more hours, etc., etc. Are, are like it was in my original baseline. So what should I do? Well, well, how can I see the real situation? What can I do here? Well, I should apply something which was, which can be done like this. I will go to file, I will go to options, and I will go to advanced. Once again, let me cancel it. File, option, and advanced. And if I scroll a little bit down, okay, you will see here in earn value option for this project, this particular project, project two, you can see here, that uh, earn value calculation which means 
uh, the variances at everything else is calculating according to baseline, not baseline one. So I am going to change it to baseline one. And if I change it to baseline one and hit on OK, and this will only apply to this project, otherwise I can uh, choose all projects, but I want it to my project here, you will see that now variance is zero. Cost variance is zero, work variance is zero, and of course, schedule variance is zero. But if I go back and say file options advanced, and if I go to variances here and apply baseline, first baseline, original baseline, then baseline will be, the variances are going to be changed. So be aware of this. When you change, when you apply a new baseline, you want to see it on your GAN chart and you can see the right values for variances. For doing that, for seeing on the GAN chart, go to GAN chart format and on the baseline, choose the right one. And this is not all, go to file, options, and go to schedule, and then go uh, to advanced, uh, sorry, no, file options advanced, not schedule, and go down and see, choose the right one as well. So everything is at it should be at the moment. So two steps for applying new baselines uh, if you want to see the right data on your screen, on the left screen or on the right screen. Hope this helps. Thank you very much.